Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Gail Gordon. How did you get to the bank ahead of me? Were you locked in overnight? No, no, I came in early because I wanted to show you that you did not make a mistake giving me my new assignment. Oh. I know every button on this computer. Good. the machine age. Mrs. Carmichael, you would have wrecked the stone, bronze, and iron age. Oh. <laughs> well, obviously, you will not fit in this department. Well, where do you want me to go? <laughs> oh, don't tempt me. <laughs> if only we had a branch on the Sahara Desert. Oh, Mr. Mooney. I know, I know. I'll put you in new accounts. New accounts? Yes, all you do is fill out blanks. And with your mind, that should be easy. Oh, <laughs> this be my desk? Well, it says new accounts. Yes, sir. Well, it. thank you, Mr. Mooney, for giving me another chance. Don't thank me. I must be out of my mind. Oh, Mr. Mooney, now, don't, don't carry on. Very much. Oh, yes. Very clumsy. Of me. Oh, oh, oh. That's all right. Oh, excuse me. Huh? But, you know, you look exactly like Bob Crane on Hogan's Heroes. Well, you know why? Why? That happens to be my name. Hogan? No, no, no. I am Bob Crane. You are Bob Crane. Mm -hmm. And you're live and it's covered. TV show. I'm glad you watched the program. Oh, all the time. You know something? You're my favorite soldier since Captain Kangaroo. <laughs> well, a fan's a fan. <laughs> I uh, wonder if you could tell me who I see about opening a new account. Uh, me. You. Yes, if, if you'll just step over to my desk. All right. Captain Kangaroo. <laughs> <laughs> So, you, uh, you want to put money into our bank, huh? Well, I think I'd better if I don't want my checks to bounce. <laughs> oh, oh, that's funny. I must say, Mr. Crane, in spite of all those years that you spent in that prison camp, you still have a great sense of humor. <laughs> well, I try. <laughs> now, your new account. Let's mm -hmm. see now. Your name is Bob Crane. Mm -hmm. uh, would you like to use Robert for the new account? Oh, I don't know. Robert is so formal. Uh, I, 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 just call me Bob. Just call oh, me Bob. Yes, well, I, um, I feel the same way. I, I don't like to have anyone call me Lucille. I like to be called Lucy. What's your middle name? Bob. Bob? Bob Crane? No, 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 no. I mean, just call me Bob. Oh. That's what everybody does. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> uh, would you call me Bob, Lucy? 
<laughs> yes, if, if, if you think it's all right. Well, that's what everybody back in my hometown calls me. Oh, where are you from? You know, a little town in Connecticut. Oh, how do you like um, Hollywood? Oh, I don't know. I guess I'll always be a small-town boy at heart. Oh, you'll change. You'll mm. change. I just bet your little black book will be filled with the names of all the Hollywood glamorous movie actresses. No, no, no. I have news for you. I don't even have a little black book. Oh? And I don't go for Hollywood actresses. Oh, you don't? No, they're too pushy and aggressive. I go for the, the feminine type, the... Uh, the uh, easy, unassuming, the simple type girl. Oh. The uh, kind I'm looking at right now. Oh, where? <laughs> you. Me? Oh, yeah. I can tell just by looking at you. You're not the aggressive type. Oh, well, well thank you. What's your phone number? <laughs> My phone number? Oh, not for me. Not that I want it. I need it for the application. Oh, oh, yes, yes. Crestview 17399. 17399. You know, I think it's just terrible the way some girls call men up all the time for dates mm -hmm. when it's the man who should do the calling. Oh, you're so right. You know, just this week, three girls asked me for a date. You see? And yet tonight I'm having dinner alone. <laughs> Say, I, uh, I wonder if... No, I, I, I guess I shouldn't. Shouldn't what? Well, I was going to ask. I, I bet I, I better not. Better not what? Ask you to have dinner with me tonight? No, you better not. Not until I know you better. Oh. Uh, address, please. Uh, 993 Elm in Beverly Hills. Mm hmm Rent? No. Own? Yes. Mortgage? No. Thank you. Now that I know you better, maybe we could have dinner. <laughs> Wonderful. Sign here. <laughs> uh, thank you. I'll uh, pick you up around 8, Lucy? Uh, yes, the Glen Hall Apartments, Mr. Crane. I mean, Bob. Oh, fine, fine. <laughs> oh, uh, I was wondering, uh, could I cash a check? Oh, certainly. Do you have any identification? <laughs> I'm Bob Crane, remember? Oh, <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh. It's right this way. Yes. Um, I'd like to cash this check, please. Just a moment. There'll be no cashing of checks. You're overdrawn oh, already. Oh, Mr. Mooney, it's not for me. It's for Mr. Crane. He's just opened a new account. B Bob Crane of Hogan's Hero? Yes. Oh, well, welcome to our family of friendly depositors, Mr. Crane. Mr. Mooney is our vice president. Oh. Yes. Have you given Mr. Crane one of our calendars? Oh, no, I forgot. Oh, He's one good. of our calendars. Oh. And a piggy bank? Yes, sir. <laughs> and a pen wiper? Oh, of course. And a pencil sharpener? Yes, sir. And a little speedy electric shoe polisher? There we are. And a car oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold it. I'll, I'll... I'll, I'll wait until my next trip. I'll bring a, a shopping bag. Oh. <laughs> Here's your money, Mr. Oh, Crane. Thank you. Um, I'll see you tonight. <laughs> I'll be ready, Bob. Oh, uh, good. Uh, Mr. Mooney, very nice meeting you. My pleasure. Uh. Am I hearing things? You have a date with Bob Crane tonight? For dinner. Well, why is he taking you when he could have his choice of all the glamorous actresses in Hollywood? They don't impress him. He happens to like the shy, demure type. <laughs> then why take you? <laughs> Mr. Mooney, you don't know the real me. Underneath this cold, efficient, business-like exterior, I happen to be very shy and demure. Shy and demure? You weren't shy and demure when you took that job as a stuntman, Iron Man Carmichael, and let them shoot you out of a cannon. I have retired from the stuntman business. If a man like Bob Crane thinks that I'm shy and demure, that I'm going to be just as shy and demure as Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm. <laughs> Rebecca of Sunnybrook Farm? You are more like the unthinkable Molly Brown. <laughs> <laughs> Oh,
I cannot tell you how pleased I am that our bank has invested money in your new picture. Ah, oh, it will be a zing, zing, zinger. And it would be even zingier if I could get some good stuntman for the big fight scene in the end. Oh. Are, are stuntmen hard to find? Good ones are. Oh, have you ever heard of a stuntman named Iron Man Carmichael? <laughs> heard of him? Has Huntley ever heard of Brinkley? <laughs> we have been looking for him for weeks now. We want him in the picture. Uh, tell me, you are acquainted with Iron Man Carmichael? Oh, yes, she works in our bank. She? <laughs> uh, her assist, her brother. His uh, brother. <laughs> And the sister can get the brother to work in the picture? They're close? Well, they're so close you might call them one person. <laughs> <laughs> I must have Iron Man in my picture. Uh, he's such a fearless stuntman. Well, now, when would you need him? First thing tomorrow morning. He'll be there. Ah, oh, wunderbar ausgezeichnet. You are a friend for life, even longer. <laughs> I will now leave. Oh. Mr. Mooney, to show my appreciation, I will give you a part in my picture. Me in the movies? Well, you, you look like a German officer. Oh. I will make you a general. A general? <laughs> general von Plump. <laughs> well, I will now pay the bill and leave. Oh, please, please, please. This is the bank's treat. <laughs> oh, thank you, sir. Nothing. <laughs> also, thank you, sir, for the calendar. <laughs> and the pen wiper. <laughs> and the piggy bank. <laughs> and the pencil sharpener. <laughs> and the speedy electric shoe polisher. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Auf Wiedersehen, General von Plump. Uh, von, uh, oh, yes. <coughs> Sir? Uh, no autographs, please. <laughs> what autograph? This is the bell. Oh, oh, I'll take care of that in a minute. Uh, uh, where's the telephone? Uh, right around to your left, sir. Thank you very much. I'll take that. Don't give it up. Good evening, Mr. Crane. Good evening, sir. I saved two nice lobsters for you. Oh, fine. This way. Good, good. I hope you like this spot, Lucy. It's so simple and unassuming. Oh, I just love it. Mm-hmm. Mm, I love that perfume. What's it called? It's called uh, Breath of Daisy Dew. <laughs> I like it because it's so simple and unassuming. Mm, but unforgettable. <laughs> oh, mm. thank you. Oh, you look so pretty tonight and, <laughs> and old-fashioned. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I hope you like lobster. Oh, I do, I do. Lobsters are so simple and unassuming. <laughs> well, I've never heard them described quite that way, but I <laughs> I guess that's why they blush and turn red when you put them in the pot. Oh, oh, oh I know it's not ladylike to laugh out loud in public, but oh, that was so humorous. <laughs> Lucy, uh, you make a wonderful audience. Oh. Yes, that, that's what a lady should be, an audience, a good listener. I mean, most Hollywood girls yakety yak too much. You know, they, they try to dominate the conversation. Don't you think so? I mean, a man can't get a word in edgewise. It's just, just terrible. Would you care for a drink? <laughs> uh, Lucy, do you mind if I pay you a compliment? You have the most beautiful, big, blue eyes I've ever seen. Oh. Bob, do you mind if I break into this conversation? Please do. I don't think that my eyes are so big and blue and beautiful. Oh, but they are. <laughs> and I've never seen such long lashes. Oh, they're not so long. <laughs> I don't think so. Got 
something in your eye? <laughs> oh, Mr. Mooney, I see you like this restaurant, too. Oh, yes, yes. I just had a delightful meal with the director of your new picture. Oh. Are you going to be in a new picture, Bob? Yes, yeah, starting tomorrow. It's a World War I epic. I'm playing the lead. I'm an American aviator. Oh, how wonderful. <laughs> Isn't it, though? <laughs> that the director was asking about Iron Man. <laughs> Iron Man Carmichael, your brother? Iron Man Carmichael is your brother? Uh, I don't care to discuss him. We have nothing in common. He's completely out of my life. Well, I just saw him in Bad Day at Laredo. He's one of the roughest, toughest stuntmen in the business. Yeah, well, we have nothing in common. He's uh, the black me. sheep of the family. Oh, yes. Uh, pardon me, Mr. Crane. You want it on the telephone. Oh, excuse me, Lucy. Uh, yes, morning. indeed, indeed, yes. <laughs> The idea of bringing up Iron Man now. The director wants him in the picture, and I promised to get him. Well, I am not going to be Iron Man anymore. Now, look, I can get you plenty of money. Money has have... nothing to do with it. Now, Bob Crane thinks that I'm a perfect lady. If he ever finds out that I'm a rough, tough stunt man, he'll never want to see me again. Now, can't you understand that? I understand perfectly. Well, I'm glad. And I'm glad you told me. Because if you don't do what I ask, I'll tell Bob Crane just exactly who Iron Man Carmichael is. Blackmail. Yes, it is, isn't it? <laughs> now, you be at that studio tomorrow. And remember, I can check on you. I'm doing a part in the picture, too. You are? Yes. So you be there. You can't do this to me. I just did. Oh, <laughs> Mr. Mooney, I'd give you such a kick if I weren't a lady. But since I'm Iron Man... <laughs> the man who plays the Germans, and uh, General von Plump. All German soldiers and General von Plump on the set. Mr. Mooney. Uh, uh, yes, yes, sir. Yeah, we are going to do the drill scene first. Oh, yes. Uh, do you know your German commands? Well, I, I had a little trouble with them, but I started... Well, uh, I... we'll rehearse it, oh, and yes. I'll be back then. Good, good. All right, man, attention! attention. Uh, no, 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 no. Achtung! Oh, that's one I had... Oh, I was... Tra yeah, uh... <laughs> Achtung! Links um! Over American aviator. Mr. Crane, on the set, please. Good morning, Mr. Mooney. How are you? Ah, Bob, uh, you look wonderful, wonderful. Well, yes, we have the very best stuntman in the business here. You don't have to worry. Ah, uh, Wolfgang, you are a pussy cat. Just so long as the star doesn't get hurt. <laughs> we also have Iron Man Carmichael. Uh, where is Iron Man Carmichael? Iron Man Carmichael. Here. <laughs> but are you doing in a German uniform? That's what they gave me. 
Oh, no, no, Dumkopf, I want you to be an American. Me too, I read the script, they won the war. Then mach schnell, schnell, schnell. Get into the American uniform, mach schnell. Wait a minute, Iron Man, I want to talk to you. I'm, uh, I'm a friend of your sister's. Well, then you're no friend of mine. Iron Man, mach schnell, mach schnell. Eins, zwei, drei, vier. Eins, zwei, drei, vier. Eins, zwei, drei, vier. <laughs> Set. Why it on the set? Now, Bob, remember, you are America's most wonderful aviator. You've been captured by the Germans and you want to escape. All right? All right, let's go. Action! You, you think you will escape, Schweinhund? <laughs> <laughs> no wonder the Americans are going to lose the war. You are such sloppy soldiers. Look at you. Look, that scarf is dribbling all down your front. And the shirt tail is out hanging. What's the matter with behind those boots? They are dirty. Ah, aha! They have shot down another plane. This time I hope it isn't one of ours. <laughs>
The Lucy Show. Starring Lucille Ball. Co-starring Gail Gordon. How did you get to the bank ahead of me? Were you locked in overnight? No, no, I came in early because I wanted to show you that you did not make a mistake giving me my new assignment. I know every button on this computer. Good. the machine age. Mrs. Carmichael, you would have wrecked the stone, bronze, and iron age. Oh. <laughs> well, obviously, you will not fit in this department. Well, where do you want me to go? <laughs> oh, don't tempt me. <laughs> if only we had a branch on the Sahara Desert. Oh, Mr. Mooney. I know, I know. I'll put you in new accounts. New accounts? Yes, all you do is fill out blanks. And with your mind, that should be easy. 